Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the jQuery slide down function. And this is effect that this is an effect that will slide down a particular element. And it works uh, probably best with divs. So what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a div uh, which slides down at the top of the very top of the page. Now the first thing we need to do is style this div in order to make it look um, make it look you know the right size so we can fade it down or slide it down so the first thing I'm gonna do is the inclusion of a style sheet so I'm gonna say link rel equals style sheet um, the type is going to be text forward slash CSS and the source we're going to locate it in CSS forward slash style dot CSS so let's go ahead and create this uh, style.css file now. Um, let's just save this file out uh, into a directory uh, CSS, style.css. Okay, so we can start to style this div. Um, I'm going to include it first of all here just so we have reference to it. So the div is there. And the div ID is going to be top underscore message. It's just going to be a message that slides down at the top of the screen. Uh, and then I'm going to put some content in here as well. So we see you're not logged in. Do you want to sign up? And we can create this as a link, just as an example. So now that we've got this in place, you'll see that it looks something like this. Uh, we've got we see you're not logged in. Do you want to sign up? Uh, let's go ahead and style the page and this div as well. So the first thing we want to do is change the body and we want to say margin top 0 pixels and margin left 0 pixels. In fact, no, that's not important. Okay, so now for the top message, we want to apply styling. Uh, we want to say the width. So the width I'm going to pick at 700 pixels. I'm going to choose a background color for this as black and I'm going to choose padding as 10px uh, let's go for 20px um, we're also going to want to change the font size to make it look a bit bigger so 20 pixels let's just take a look at how it's looking and that's not worked because this is not source it's href okay Let's go back to our page. Uh, you can see it looks like this at the moment. We obviously need to change uh, a few things like the font color. So we'll just say color hash FFF, that's white. And we also need to center this as well. So margin left auto and margin right auto. So now that we've got the effect that we need, except for the fact that we need to text align center, we can start to actually create something that's going to slide this downwards uh, as soon as we enter the page. Now obviously this isn't functional within an actual website, it would get annoying. Um, however, just the effect itself can be useful. Uh, perhaps it could, perhaps you could include it in a specific function uh, on specific pages and based on the fact if the user's logged in or not. However, for now this is just an example. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do um, I've included obviously jQuery.js that's located in the JS folder as well as effects.js which is also located in the JS folder. Now this is extremely simple. We have our uh, div just up here. Now we need to um, initially have this hidden. So there's one thing we need to change in our style.css and that is display none. So now when we revisit our page in the browser you can see it is not um, active. It's still there as an element, but it isn't uh, shown yet. So using jQuery, we can slide this down. So we're going to do this when the document has loaded. So we use hash, uh, sorry, dollar sign document dot ready. And inside of here, we create a function and we give it a block. So we have curly parentheses here as well as the front function um, parentheses just here. So I'm going to bring this just down a couple of lines so we can work within. Okay, so now what we want to do, it's a single line to actually create this effect, so it's extremely easy to do and effective. We want to reference top message and then use the uh, slide down function. So dollar 
and then inside of here we want to say top underscore message with a hash to reference the ID then we say dot slide oh, sorry if I spell it correctly slide down and then in brackets we can give some optional parameters in a moment however just the slide down function on its own will work so let's go back to our page and hit refresh you can see that that's slid down this div and quite nicely as well and quite smoothly okay so we've got a, a variety of parameters that we can give here we can give the speed um, we can give the effect type how the effect actually slides and we can also give a callback function as well so uh, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, demonstrate the speed and if you go over to the jQuery documentation uh, there's a variety of other options as well as the callback function that you can implement okay so I'm just going to say slow you'll see that now the speed has decreased very slightly if I was to go ahead and choose say 3000 that equals to three seconds so that slides down a lot slower uh, obviously that wouldn't uh, be appropriate if we choose something like 500 or 300 uh, that's 0.3 of a second so that slides down pretty quickly so obviously this example doesn't include um, for example a button to actually you know make the um, div go back up again however in the next part of the tutorial we're going to be looking at the slide up and we'll implement a button that will actually uh, slide this back up again.